I'm sitting here by the water and thinking, you know, for anyone who's physically thirsty, and I think we've all been there, that, that, that thirst that you have, and then you drink that first um, drink of water and how it, it refreshed it makes you feel. But for anyone who's spiritually thirsty, and when your heart's dehydrated, it's almost unbearable. And about six years ago, I had reached that point. Um, I guess most Christians would call it a desert time. And for me, it, it, it truly was a desert time. And the problem was I had gone to a lot of places um, trying to uh, feel, um, do something for that dryness. And, and like motion pictures, you would kind of claw your way through the desert and only to find that when you get there, it's a mirage. And that's what I had done for a very long time. And then one day in desperation, I was praying at the table, crying out. And and I could see this picture of Christ and standing there holding this drink of water, this cup of water, and him offering it to me. And, and so I reached out and I took it and I began to drink. And at that moment, I just, just felt this resurgence of energy and my heart began to overflow. And um, I just knew I had to write that experience down. And so as I began to write it, the words to this song um, came to me, and when I was thinking about it, one of my favorite Bible stories um, is, is the woman of Samaria, the woman at the well. And the difference is for me, um, I knew that I was spiritually thirsty. For her, she, I don't even know that she knew how thirsty she was, but her encounter with Christ that day at the well when she began to drink, changed her life. And um, the part that I like about that story, and I hope for my story is, it says, because, it says in the scriptures that because of her testimony, after she had received that life-giving water, many were saved. And um, for me, I really hope that that is my testimony, that once I begin to drink, and, and feel to overflowing that because of my testimony, um, many would be saved.